I figure I got to address this because we have gotten so many IMs about it. And uh, we've got, I've gotten so many uh, tags on Twitter about it. It's really the only thing that people care about. Um, yesterday, Jay Johnson, uh, <laughs> uh, Jay Johnston, who played uh, Jimmy Pesto on uh, Bob's Burgers, but he also, he was in Mr. Show. Um, Lots of funny sketches, a funny Sarah Silverman cop sketch. He yeah. was in Sarah Silverman show. The Sarah Silverman program. Not Jay Johnson, the you know Johnston. former Homeland Security. I just no, giving no. people Johnston, but it would be funny if Jay Johnson, uh, the Obama no. administration official, was at January 6th. Jay, Jay's a comedian. Um, I've known Jay for 30 years, I guess. I mean, I not well. Um I uh, rarely was on a record with him. Uh, and when it when that did happen, he would have been in L.A. and I would have been in New York. But I knew Jay back, you know, during the Mr. Show days when he was on uh, Mr. Show writing. Um, and I knew him even prior to that and like uh, doing a little comedy out there. He would do uh, uh, sketches with Paul Tompkins at that time. I think Paul's been out of touch with him for a while. I'm not sure. Um, look, everybody knows that when you get rid of um, uh, what was what was his uh, I can't even, now I just, I just lost it. The name of his uh, Paul place, Tompkins? Jimmy Pastos. No, oh, when huh. you get rid of uh, uh, Jimmy Pastos, it should have been replaced with Hugo's hot dogs. Everyone right. knows this. That's what everyone's thinking about. Everyone knows this. Um, outside of that, I don't have a lot to add to this. All I can tell you is that um, he fell in with the Proud Boys. Um, I think I have a pretty good sense of of how that happened. Is there a Gavin um, McGinnis angle maybe to that? or? It, I, I, I'm quite sure that, uh, you know, back years ago, uh, Gab McGinnis was uh, a comedy adjacent. Um, his funny bit would be to pee his pants at parties. That's hilarious. And, right? Well, pee at one point, you know, maybe probably the first time it could have been a sort of funny. Uh, but I think, you know, this is what happens if you uh, try the same joke over and over again. People don't laugh then right. you've got to become a fascist. That's the playbook. I mean, uh, and I, I think, um, I, I, I think that is basically what happened. He just sort of fell in, uh, with the, the wrong folks. And I think he probably had some other, uh, issues that may have been going on. I'm not sure. Um, you know, everything I hear is, is sort of rumor or secondhand or, um, he will be sentenced October 7th. Now, my understanding is that once his like face started showing up on Twitter, um, I think he basically got a lawyer and, you know, turned himself into the FBI. Well, um, I remember that day when the FBI released those images and everybody immediately says, wait a second, is this... That was when you could tell what was real on Twitter and what wasn't. And the FBI that... put out like, you know image saying can you identify this person and people did identify him it's it's sad though i mean i'm sorry sam like yeah. that's a friend of yours that's not i mean i you know i i i haven't talked to him in in in, in years and years and so i i mean it's but it's either sad. way I feel, symptomatic listen, I, feel bad for, I feel bad for a lot of these folks because um there's a certain amount of like uh, disturbance that I think is 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 there. I don't think uh, you're necessarily of of sound mind in these situations. Um, I think what also uh, also happened is uh, um, he he came in and I think he cooperated. I think he gave like his text messages and uh, and whatnot. And who knows um, what other sort of uh, things he had to say in that situation. But. Um, I wanted to say that I had no part in it. I am uh, reaping no benefit uh, from it. Um, he, well, unless the Bob's Burgers folks want to you know, rewrite some episodes. 
I, I, let's put it this way. It was a missed opportunity. And, 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 and I also don't want to say, pretend like you needed to get rid of Jimmy Pesto to have a Hugo's uh, hot dogs. <laughs> It's not zero sum, as you're always saying. But it could have been one of those butterfly effect situations where if they had just listened to your suggestion, all of this could have been avoided. Mm, I'm not sure how that works out, but I'll go with it because maybe have people Have you seen just... the Ashton Kutcher movie? It, everything affects the other thing. I did not. Makes you think. Yeah. Maybe, maybe had they listened to me, I would have seen the Ashton Kutcher movie. That's called Folks. the butterfly effect. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.